everyone, I am back with some more D-Stash lots, and I have not had an opportunity lately to um, sort through my craft room. I have been on a mission to get my craft room organized and um, cleaned out and everything, and with school and orders and the holidays, I just have not had an opportunity, but I did have some time today, and I came up with six stacks of crafting supplies, um, more geared towards junk journals, but of course the um, supplies can be used for any type of crafting. So if you're interested in any of these stacks, I will go through each one because they are a little bit different. I did try to give a variety of items to each stack, um, but I am also going to include um, a variety of stationery and stationery sets, but I did not separate those out. I'll just show you those at um, the end of the video. So each stack will also get a variety of um, some, I believe they're all vintage. I'm looking at them right now and I think they're all vintage, but there's some really nice stationery that I will be including in these stacks. So let me go ahead and get started and I will do this quickly because it will um, take a little bit of time to go through each stack. I just want you to know exactly what you're getting and um, I'll start with this stack here you're going to get some beautiful lace and it is peach I'm not sure if that's coming up as peach but um, it is peach and if any of you have been watching my videos you know that I have de-stashed a lot of my craft supplies and I thought I was finished with um, the lace but I keep finding lace everywhere so um, I'm down to just a little bit I think I still have um, several boxes and stuff to go through but I, I think that I might be down to the last bit of lace but I could be wrong so in this one I've also included some rickrack I think this might be uh, seam binding if I'm not mistaken I think that's what it's called, bias tape possibly. Anyway, you'll get that. Uh, you will get some hem tape, and this is lace, the lace hem tape. And um, these little tags here, I believe they're vintage. I go to thrift stores. Um, I used to go to thrift stores to find craft stuff, but I, I tried to keep myself um, reined in. You, if you're like me and you like to go to craft stores, and thrift stores to find crafting supplies. When you go to thrift stores, it's so easy when something's a quarter just to pick it up because you know it'll get used. But I did that for almost 10 years and um, I did it with the intention of making junk journals. And I know I've said this over and over in other videos, but that's what um, I was collecting supplies for. It did get out of hand. I did find a lot of um, really cool things, as you can see, um, the things that I have right now. I just, I can't, I don't have the time to use all of these things. So I want to pass them along and I do try to keep, um, the pricing very low. So it is, um, it's a good deal for anyone who wants to take advantage of, um, all of these things that I found. So back to the tags, I bought some, um, clothes for my grandkids and I just thought these tags were really cool looking. I did not want to throw them out. Um, I, I really think they're vintage, so I thought they would be cool to use in um, crafting or junk journals. So then I have um, these appliques. And I, I really didn't have any themes for these stacks. One has a little bit of a theme, which I'll show you later, but um, it's just kind of a mix of different items. So here we have a Reader's Digest book, and I know a lot of people like to use these for um, making journals, and I don't know what the date is. Let me see if I can find it here quickly. I guess 1970, I'm guessing is the date. So then you will also get this vintage Fun with Felt Crafts book. You can just see there's images. You can definitely use it to make crafts or you can use it for your crafting projects. So just some really cute images and patterns and different things that you can use for crafting. 
Then we have A Night Before Christmas. And this is 1970 as well. Oh, let me give you the date on this one. I know some people like to get the dates. Let me see if I can find it. At this rate, I'm probably going to be doing this video for an hour or two. 1981 for this booklet. And then this is 1970. And I scored a huge bag of these for like a dollar at um, a church sale one time. So um, I'm passing those along. Then I have some vintage wrapping paper. And here, I thought this one was really cute. Um, it's kind of like patchwork wrapping paper, I guess. But I just, I thought it was adorable. And I'll probably keep one of these for myself. I, again, scored a bunch of these. I think they were four for a dollar um, at a church thrift store. So anyway, let me just move on. Here is the first stack. This will be... Lot number one, I guess we'll call it. Moving on to the next stack. Let me just pick up the pace a little bit here. Um, everyone is going to get two or three, at least two. I think I had a uh, few extra that some people will get three tags. Here's a bag of some um, vintage rickrack, some different laces and vintage fabrics. There's some really pretty trim and as you can see I it I never even used it I got it at a thrift store and it just sat there and sat there and it's beautiful so you will get that and a vintage book the adventures of Huckleberry Finn let me see if I can find a date on this one um Okay, it looks like the last copyright was is 1931, so I'm guessing this is in 1931. And look at that, it's just, I thought it was beautiful when I found it and um, I had every intention of turning it into a journal and again, just um, don't have the time. So hopefully someone will like it and want it and need it and have to have it. So here is another vintage book and I think this has to do with weddings yes that's what it looks like kind of a guide I guess and I believe 1946 so I think it's kind of a guide and I actually I have one of these um, that I purchased when I got married and it had an area where people could sign and I just, I love vintage um, things and so that's what I used for my guest book. But um, this is really cool. Oh, this one, this one does too. It has the bride's gift record. So this is really cool. If anyone's doing um, some scrapbooking or junk journal, the bridal party, that's really cool. I have not looked at this. Um, this would be great. If you like that kind of stuff. So moving on, here is, um, this feels like a magazine. And let me see if I can find a date. It is kind of falling apart, but I think it has some really nice images about art. I don't, I don't see a date. Um, but let me just kind of flip through and show you some of the images. So, they're um, very pretty. Okay, again with the patchwork um, wrapping paper. And then you will get, this is beautiful. This is some vintage wrapping paper. And it's the flowers. So, I just thought that was gorgeous. I have um, an issue with buying paper items if you have not already gathered from... Um, these items and then if you've watched my past videos you will um, you will see that I've just had tons and tons of paper and I still have a lot of paper stuff to go through 
Okay, this is wedding paper, so um, that kind of goes with the theme of this stack, I guess, with, with uh, the wedding guidebook and everything. So there we go. This will be stack two. All right, moving on to stack three. And I may have to make this into two videos if I do not start moving it along here. I'm just a little chatty today for some reason. All right, I think this is another one. Okay, no, this is the Scarlet Letter. And I actually, I read this book in high school and I just loved it. So um, it looks like it's similar to that Huckleberry Finn book. So I don't know if it came in a set. But um, let's see if we can find a date really quickly. I don't see one. I don't see one, but if you are interested in this stack and you want to know the date, just leave a comment below and I can figure out what that is and let you know. So you'll get that. Here is um, 1979. It says Salem's Mother's Club Cookbook. So um, it's a vintage cookbook. Crockpot yam pudding. That uh, really sounds delicious. <laughs> oh my word. I've never heard of anything like that before. So you'll get that. Um, the new Joys of Jello recipe book. This is 1975, it looks like. And I don't know about you, but I love these old cookbooks. I don't know what they thought back then, but every the food was just so big and chunky. But um, their cookbooks were really vibrant with colors and everything. So you will get that. Just trying to flip through a few pages to show you. All right, and then we have more of the vintage wrapping paper. And there's a butterfly. That one's really pretty. And here is the, the patchwork one again. So this will be stack number three. And here we go with stack number four. We have some more of the lace seam binding. We have some vintage, and I believe that is vintage. We have the vintage rickrack, and then here's some vintage lace. This has never even been opened. Well, all three of them, none of them opened. Just sitting, waiting to be used. All right, so we have a couple of the vintage, well, three of the vintage tags and then um, here is a reader's digest and I'm guessing this is probably 1970s or somewhere around there or possibly older um, 1979 I guess so it, I don't know if the pages are supposed to look like that but it really looks Older than 1979. This one really has some nice age to it. I don't, again, I don't know if they made the pages to look like that, but um, I really like that one. All right, so then you will get a fun way elementary. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Let's just open it up. Okay, so. It's going to be some music sheets, and this is 1967. So there you go. It looks like it's a um, Christmas song, so you will get that. Another one of the Night Before Christmas books. And these, I don't recall if I gave you a date, but um, 1970 on that. Here's Santa's new sled. And I'm not sure about the date on here. Let's see if we can find one. I'm probably looking right at it and I don't I don't see one. It's 
I don't think it's a new book, but it's not super old either. So maybe 90s or early 2000. I'm just not seeing a date, so I'm, I'm not sure. But then we have more of the vintage wrapping paper. So this will be stack number four. On to stack number five, you are going to get some lace. Um, I don't know what this is. Decorative elastic polyester knit. I think it might be... Okay, here we go. So I think it's the elastic that will go around the waistband or um, around the cuffs, you know, back in the 70s. I think that was kind of popular. And I don't see a date, but I, th I think that's what it is. So I'm sure that would be nice to use for some type of crafting project or junk journal. So here we have some vintage rickrack, a couple of the vintage tags. Here are some um, appliques, never been opened. These are um, vintage, so I just love to look at, at vintage packaging and everything. So you will get that, and then here is um, a vintage book, and I wanted to show you this cover. I think it's very pretty. Um, I think it would be good for um, a Christmas junk journal. Of course, you could use it for anything, but it kind of reminds me of pine cones. Oh, it might be pine cones. I'm not sure. But I just think it's pretty. It's kind of a silvery, light blue color. So let me see if I can find the date on it. And it has an insert, so you'll get that. Okay, this one is 1953. And does have some nice coloring to the pages. So okay this one is a Reader's Digest. So you will get this insert and then we have more of the vintage wrapping paper. And then I think everyone got a stack or a package of this um, wrapping paper. So this is going to be five, lot number five, and then here is the last one, lot number six. And this one kind of has um, a little bit of a theme to it. We have some strawberry appliques here. There's a bag of strawberry appliques, and I think there might be a couple roses in there. Rose appliques. Then we have some red trim. So this one's kind of a red themed um, stack here, I guess you could say. Here is a rose. Here's some trim with some strawberries, or I'm sorry, not strawberry. Yes, we do have strawberries, cherries on that. Here's some lace that's never been opened. I believe this is vintage, if I'm not mistaken. A couple of the vintage tags. Then we have some vintage bias tape. And um, here is a Reader's Digest. Yes, Reader's Digest. And um, this one would also be great for um, a Christmas journal. So let me see if I can, it is coming apart just a little bit here, but I know a lot of people um, got these and take the pages out anyway. And this one is a 1963. So there you go with that one. Here is a Walt Disney Mickey Mouse little golden book. Let me see if I can find the date on this one. This is 1971. So I know a lot of people like to use these books for junk journals and crafting. So you get that. You will get one of the Night Before Christmas books. And little Christmas star. Again, I don't think this one is too terribly old. Oh, well, 1988, so it's older than I thought. 
1988 on this one. It is vintage. So there you go with that. And then we have a couple packages of the vintage wrapping paper. And so that is going to be stack number six. Let me just quickly go through the vintage stationery that you will get. Everybody will get a mix of, um, if I have enough, it looks like I have enough of this, everyone will get an envelope and a sheet of this stationery. And then this one is very cute. This will go with that last stack number six. It has the strawberries on it. So it looks like I have... I think I have enough to give everybody one of those. Um, it looks like I have enough to give everyone... This is a really thick lined envelope, so that would be great for a junk journal. I think I have enough to give everybody one of those. Here is... Um, again, with the strawberries. I guess the theme today... The strawberries. My grandson thinks it's so funny. When I was little, I told him I hated strawberries, and now I love them. He thinks it's funny. How could anyone hate strawberries? He loves them. Anyway, if you like strawberries, comment below and let me know. Everybody will get some of the strawberry paper. Here we have some... This one... Not sure... If it's vintage, it's probably not too old, maybe late 90s. Um, late 90s, I believe. So everybody, it looks like I, I don't have enough envelopes, but everybody will get at least a sheet. Oh, yes I do. I have plenty of envelopes and everybody will get um, a sheet of this stationery. And then I have... I don't know what type of paper this is, if it's computer paper, but everybody will get a sheet of that. And then the best I saved for last. I absolutely love this. This was a thrift store find. I have not had a chance to use it, um, so I'm going to pass it along. But look how pretty that is. And again, this one, I don't know if it is um, vintage. Okay, so it's dated 2000, so not quite if you go by the 20-year rule. Almost. So, and then you have a matching envelope with it. So that is just, how pretty is that? That is gorgeous. So everybody will get... Um, one sheet and one envelope. You won't get a letter set, but you will get a letter set is two sheets and an envelope. So you'll get one sheet and an envelope. So that is what you will get. Um, each stack will be $22 shipped. If you're interested, I will leave my email address below. Um, if you're interested, just send me a message. Let me know which stack you would like. And also, um, if you have any questions, you can either leave a comment below or send a message to me. And thank you so much for watching.